Hey there, everybody! Welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. This is Spiraling Helix. In the last episode, we ventured our way across. Whoa! Hurry up with those power cells! I'm waiting at the head of Fire Canyon, at the top of the cliff behind the farmer's house. Thank you, Kira. As I was saying, we went through Sentinel Beach. We now have enough power cells to head through Fire Canyon. But there is still one place to explore near Sandover Village. But before we go there, let's speak to this person. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. Worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back! To Misty Island! Are we? Yes, we are, Daxter! You heard him. The weird muse squirrel thing that he was describing ran over to Misty Island. I don't know how it ran over. There's a whole lot of water in the way. Maybe it can run on water. <gasps> anyway, from helping the fishermen out in the Forbidden Jungle, we can now head over to Misty Island in this Seamless transition, like just look down, and no loading screen whatsoever, here we are. At Misty Island. Now this is the place we saw in the opening cutscenes, obviously, but I think, I can't quite recall where we saw the lurker meeting happening. By the way... It's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz! I have no idea what Daxter was talking about there, but these creatures here, we saw a few of them in... Actually, both places we've explored so far. They are known as lurkers. And yes, the muse is already right here. However, this thing is a pain to catch. As you're gonna see me fail many times as I just run around and... Double jump, please, Jack. Thank you. It's kind of hard to get these orbs, but you can break these bones down by hitting them enough. And I kind of want to take care of these enemies before I try catching that muse. And I think there's an enemy in the mud. I'm not taking care of that. I don't know if you even can take care of that. I Do you get hit if you go in the... Sorry, hurt if you go in the mud? You, I, I'm going to assume you will and avoid it. And there's a power cell down there. And the muse is like right there. Is it? Where'd it go? There you are. Come here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And oh my goodness! I have never got that that quickly. Usually it makes a full loop around and like it'll do a u-turn there, but It likes running around just that little area a whole lot as you okay. You don't get hurt in the mud But seriously, I'm going this way. I can't believe I got that so quickly. That's I'm uh, Yeah Sweet you can live you can live but down here Kira did mention The hovercraft! Shred the lurkers, Jack. Not the mines! Rule number one, always avoid the mines! And, yes, Daxter just doesn't stop talking. And you can turn it off if you turn the hints off in the... Oh my goodness, that was close. In the settings. But, controls of the... Hover, bike, jet thing? You... Just... Basically, hold down next to accelerate B. Uh, not B. What am I playing this on? 
Xbox? No. Square to break. Or to do a hard turn, you can hold down square to turn tighter, which is very nice. You can hit either of the shoulder buttons, L1 or R1 too. Do a nice little hop. And that's pretty much all we need to worry about so far. Your health is still your health. No extra health bar for the bike. But there's a few of these jumps and some of them aren't that nice. Hopefully I get these all prop. Oh my goodness. Turning is a bit of a pain. But I can do this. Okay. First try. Let's go. First of all, straight ahead. <laughs> I almost sat at one orb, one orb at the end. And yes, there was the scout fly as well, but the orb. Also, scout flies, you automatically collect them by going through them once. No need to run back through the box. Okay. Let's get this lurker before he flies up. Don't fly up, don't fly up, don't fly up. Gotcha. I believe there's just one more lurker blimp around. Maybe two more. That's not met. I was going to say let's not mess this up, but I had to open. Oh my goodness. Anyway, up, 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 up the ramp. Let's not go off the endless this time. And there we go. Okay. That wasn't even the hard one though. There's still one more with a power cell. So let's get that one. Okay. Thankfully the power... <laughs> I can't even make it to the turn. Turn. Okay. Slow down. Turn around. And full speed ahead. Yes! The power cell has a much bigger hitbox. Yeah! Okay, now to take care of this lurker. I believe he's hanging around, around in this area. There he is. Wait, don't go up. Don't go up. Don't go up. Gotcha! Nice! And that is the hover bike thing. What on earth is it called? Kira, please tell me. The Zuba! That's what it's called! Thank you, Kira. Always pulling through for me when I need you to. The Zuma! Now, we will see a lot more of that when we are heading through Fire Canyon in the next episode, but don't worry, I'm not ending it off just yet. And I actually got a heal without dying. I can't believe it. Anyway, we could head down this path, but we'll be heading down there shortly enough. I think, though, it's a better idea to head up here where we can hear a lot of banging. Sorry for headphone users, that gets very annoying. But first of all, yeah! Oh, that one feels so good with Daxter doing that noise again. I mean, that actions. And... I don't like these. Dodge it! Okay. Don't hit the- hoo, hoo, hoo. Thank you for the full heal. Oh, I thought I could roll underneath that one. And get- woo, hoo, That- Camera angles. Making it hard to see. I thought I could dodge that by rolling- Double jump! Where were you? I- Daxter can't even take your death seriously. I think there's only one line when Daxter actually makes a comment going like, How am I going to change back now? But, there was just so many great lines in there, like, It's kind of worth dying to show them off. However, he doesn't say a line every time you die. Usually you have to die on the ground like that, for a start. And... Oh my goodness, that was close. Okay, single jumps all the way. Let's do this. No double jumps, they clearly don't work. And go! Oh my goodness, this is going amazing. 
Please keep it up. And boom! And oh my goodness! That was amazing! I still have full health. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh yeah! I did it! Oh yeah! Anyway, up here we have another cannon, just like in Sentinel Beak. You were meant to jump down a lot sooner than that. Like, as soon as you kill his little buddy there, he's meant to jump down. But power cell! I wish I had dance moves like that. I'll just stick with the arm pump. I'm impressed. You two didn't screw up. Now that the lurkers can't open that silo, they can't flood the world with dark eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Daxter. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. You were saying, Samos, I want to blow up this dark eco silo and see what it does. Anyway, that is not quite the location we saw in the opening cutscene. We will see that soon enough. But there are some boxes up here that I want to break. And this is why I went clockwise around the island. So, wait, did that one blow up? Okay, cool. This is why I went towards the Zuma first, like followed where the Muse went. Simply so that I could actually go and get those. Thankfully though, oh, I... And that's the Lurker Shark, guys. Well, I certainly never want that to happen again. That's easily the scariest enemy I have seen so far. Seriously, either. Yeah, the, 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 the heartbeat you hear when the Lurker Sharks approach. Man, why did they put that in the game? You could have done, like, left it at the growl or something, but the heartbeats. Oh my goodness, I hate it when games like, cartoony games like the what? Get out of here. Cartoony games like this end up being scarier than darn horror games. Like, why? Anyway, it seems we are going to get a bit of Blue Eco up ahead to open that. And I can see some right now, so let's get that. Thankfully, that won't hurt me. You can just go ahead and not exist anymore. And let's knock this down before I go get more. This single piece by itself won't help me. Fortunately, though, down... Stay out of here. Down here, I think it's just this bit. Yeah. There are some precursor orbs. These are some easy ones to miss. But much more blue eco for us to sprint, Jack, sprint, go as fast as you can, and open up this. Very nice. Good work, Jack. And Daxter, I guess, he's kind of just sitting on Jack's shoulder. But darn it, Daxter shares the title of this game just as much. He is just as important to this team, and he's the funny one. I mean, there has to be a funny one. I don't know how that punch hit him, but I'll take it. Anyway, can't miss the scout fly. Two remaining. And I'm gonna die. I didn't die. I didn't die. I didn't die. And, ooh, ooh, actually. Yeah, Daxter just said it. I forgot he said it. Red Eco makes you strong. It actually extends your attack range quite a bit too, especially... We remember what happened the last time we were here! Your spinning attack. Collecting these. I know something's gonna happen. Do I have to go in the middle? It's an ambush, Jack! It's an ambush! It's an ambush, you heard, Daxter! Thankfully, some of them will drop red eco, which helps you collect the green eco stuff too. And we can now one-shot those guys with Red Eco, so let's just keep spinning. Gotta be careful you don't walk into them in between spins, I guess. But, there's a full heal. And, wait, did I get... No, no I didn't. I'm imagining things. And let's not die, please. 
And they will stop spawning at one point, it'll be fairly obvious. There it is! My goodness, I didn't die there. I die there at least once every time. Let's keep you out of the ooze, okay? Ooh, dark, goopy stuff. By the way, if you jump in there, that will not turn you into the weird Otzel creature that Daxter is. That will straight up instantly kill you. Daxter is a very special person. Certainly. Power cell! Yeah! I did that a bit early. Daxter showing how Buffy is after taking care of that ambush. And now it's just the home stretch back to the fisherman's... And now it's just the home stretch back to the fisherman's... Okay, didn't die that time. What? Back over those bones. Right. Okay. I got you that time. Now, it's power cell time. One over there to get. There is still the last two scout flies, actually. I hope I'm not missing one. And there might be another power cell up on the ledges up here. You can die quickly. Thank you. And I'm going to grab these orbs with that. Obviously, those bit bits, bats, bots, I don't know. We'll fall down. Can I not make this jump? Thank you. We'll fall down when you step on them. I don't think there's anything to use the blue eco on around here, so... I don't know why it's around. Oh, maybe it's to collect the orbs off the... Like, falling off bits like that. And that's every precursor orb! I didn't miss any! And here's the last scout fly. Boom! Power cell. Yeah! That's gonna get repetitive, guys. So maybe I'll try and do something else for each of them. And is that every... No, no, there's still the power cell over to the left, there. Right, that's what the blue eco's for. You need blue eco to get over there. Right? Right? I think so. Is this enough? It will be if I don't get stuck. Cause I don't think we'll make it back. <clears throat> I'll say something really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get Shane back now? Yep, and well hey, we're back at the start. Anyway, I get the feeling that the game expects you to go this way first, like through the ambush before you take down, like, before you get hold of that cannon and blow up those boxes, which is why I went the other way first, obviously. But yeah, I get the feeling the game expected you to go this way around the island first. Don't, don't kill me. And I don't think that's gonna make it. No! I don't think I actually ended up grabbing that blue eco spot right here. Strangely. Um, let's try that again, shall we? Please notice that you exist this time. Oh, and we're getting the sunrise mist again. I hate sunrise mist. It's like the worst. Now, I love clouds and all that, but mist at sunrise just makes everything all glary and stuff. And hey, it's guys a rock over there. And with that, that is the last of the power cells on Misty Island. Let me double check that and return to mutes. Yes, it is. I am going to not go swimming to that boat because of the like a shark might be nearby. Although I'll... I was meant to jump. I was meant to jump. I was meant to jump. Okay. I made it. I made it. Anyway. It's time to head back and return the muse to the sculptor. Oh, the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Yeah. Man, I would just love a creature like that. Look at it. It looks amazing! 
But with that, there is only one thing left to do in Sandover Village. And that's actually pretty much just make our way over to Fire Canyon, where there's a few precursor orbs along the way. And speak to the Oracle statue. And I'll just go and do that at the beginning of next episode. So, with that guys, next time, we're going to make our way through Fire Canyon to the next village. And get the last of the power cells around Sandover Village. See you guys next time everybody, this has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye